It's like the sun coming up in the east. You can understand that in any criminal or civil litigation, there are events down the road where you go after the big fish. That is what has happened this morning with a publication by Sudha Natarajan, our banking senior reporter, which barely describes his expertise on New York and global Wall Street. On Morgan Stanley and on Mr. Wang of Archegos, Sridhar, thank you so much uh, for, for joining us this morning. Sri, this is about a Hong Kong, I'm going to call it a conglomerate, whatever, online trading, whatever. The stock doesn't matter. And Bill Wang of Archegos, who's got a guy he's dealing with at Morgan Stanley, and it goes the wrong way for Mr. Wang, is he suing Morgan Stanley here well, for I'll letting the beans out? Let's let's take a step back. We all know what happened with Archegos and Bill right. Huang just last month. Criminal charges against Bill Huang for the spectacular collapse of his family office. But in a new untold chapter of that collapse, months before his liquidation, there was another big short bet that he had on a stock, Futu, which is the Chinese stake on Robinhood, and he sought Morgan Stanley's help to get out of that position. But soon after that, he was caught in one epic short squeeze. The stock jumped 400%, and he lost nearly $4 billion, at least his portfolio okay, took a so $4 billion hit. To cut to the chase, this is not Martha Stewart or anybody else on insider trading where it's pretty much cookie cutter. Don't you just go back and look at the emails, look at the transcripts and that? Or is this about more clandestine studies within the, the court system? And that's where it gets interesting. We have no indication that at the time this happened that RK goes really even thought that there was anything amiss or anything that the Morgan Stanley Bank has could have done differently. But since the emergence of the block trading probe by the Justice Department, the other major Wall Street targeted probe from the DOJ, it appears as if the Archegos team has told the Justice Department, or at least authorities, that they should review the transaction and see if Morgan Stanley bankers were indiscreet. There could be more innocent explanations. Futu could just have been caught up in the retail trading frenzy when an army of investors were targeting massively shorted stocks. But at the very least, for what we understand is Bill Huang and Archegos want the Justice Department, want the other authorities who are looking into it to review the transaction and to make sure everything was on the up and up. So there's a distinction between punting blame and actually casting liability. What is the potential liability for Morgan Stanley should Bill Wang be proven correct? And, and that's where we go in a completely separate track. We know about the Archegos Pro, but we also know that Morgan Stanley is the only major Wall Street institution that has come out and said that it is facing a probe into its block trading practices. It has even said that it faces potential civil liability if some of those people making claims against them are proven to be right, where they will have to pay up on their end. There is no indication we have right now that the Justice Department is even taking the Archegos claim seriously enough to go knocking on Morgan Stanley these doors, but the numbers do paint quite a stark picture, and it behooves another look at least. Is it fair, Sri, to dovetail this particular probe to a wider issue where you're seeing WhatsApp communication, cell phone contacts, all of these uh, individual types of services being probed by the banks themselves, trying to keep track of what their employees are doing at home so they can better deal with regulators in this kind of scenario? How connected is some of that? There's no doubt we're living in the regime of the everything crackdown. Clearly, the prosecutors, the DOJ, the SEC, there is a change in mindset, at least from the era of the Trump administration, and they're going hard after Wall Street on a number of fronts, whether that's looking into every aspect of Archegos, uh, the block trading probe, the right. WhatsApp probe, short selling. They are on it, and they're all over it. Sri, I'm in the triple leverage doll cash fund. So, you know, if I buy 100 shares of Home Depot, I guess nobody cares. If I own 1.735 million Walmart, and I want to unload 266,000 shares. How do I do that? You won't be able to do it discreetly, Tom, so better make sure you pick your bankers very carefully. You know, this is critical, folks. I, I set you up for this. You know I did. You know going into your sell or buy of a block trade that it's going to be visible. Well, Chatted upon. you know that the bankers will have to canvas the market, and that's part of the challenge here. A lot of the professionals will tell you when bankers go about their task, maybe there isn't any other way for them to do this. There are only so many restrictions they can place on people they're conversing with. Exactly. And that's why the Justice Department may have a tough case to make against Morgan Stanley in the first place. Thank you.